What up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. And this one's gonna be a little bit funny because we're going back in time. We're going back years actually to when we built Simi's truck, the 61 F100 unibody known as Black Sheep. We haven't really talked about it a lot on this channel, but that's gonna change. But I wanted to bring you guys up to speed. So I downloaded all my old videos that I actually posted on my old YouTube channel called Unibody Union which is how we built this truck. And we actually built this truck in 22 days. And uh, Simi's been driving it every day for about four years. We've done upgrades since the videos. And um, once we catch up, I'm gonna give you guys like a full tour of the truck itself. But I just wanted to preface, these videos are old. Uh, you're gonna hear us say Unibody Union a lot. This is prior to us starting to really push Ford era. Um, I was a Unibody guy, I still am. I mean, there's another unibody, got two more outside. So when it comes to F100, the unibodies are my favorite. And this is the build of Simi's Black Sheep. So enjoy the video and we'll see you in the next one. Good morning everybody. Day five on the F100 Mercury build. We made it. Me, Simi, and here Solomon, the behind the scenes, he's doing everything. Just let everybody know that. He snuck me in front of the camera today. You know what I'm saying? All that great recording, all that great editing. That's Solomon here. Big shout out to him. Um, well, we're on our way now to go pick up some metal because we're going to start getting that frame all strengthened up. Do cross members, start welding in some body mounts, uh, fix a little bit of the rust that's on the rocker panels, uh, a little bit of sheet metal that we took out for the steps. Um, we're just going to keep things rolling here. We want to get everything tacked in. You know by the end of the day and next week hopefully once we get the steering wheel column and everything all mounted in we could start doing some donuts that would be nice or at least eating some you have to brought us breakfast not even once and i'm not <laughs> even getting paid for any of this calling me out um what we're gonna do i think what i decided on the wiring is that right now you know we're trying to budget everything and we could always change it later down the road we're gonna keep the stock wiring harness stock body and wiring harness and we're just going to have everything incorporated in to use the lights, turn signals, um, since we really pretty much kept all the stuff intact except for you know the door wiring and whatnot that we didn't need because we don't have power windows, um, you know we didn't need that so let's, we're going to keep it, keep it all simple, we could use the stock um, fuse box and relays and all that stuff, why get, why get complicated? We have the stock firewall with all the brakes and gas pedal, everything's there. So I think it's much simpler, just leave it all like that. I'm Turn cool with it. Um, if you guys saw in the last video, we got the truck pretty low. Kenny doesn't think it's low enough, but I don't wanna be scratching the bottom of the fender when I pull into parking lots. Um, I would like to pull a trailer with this truck in the future. So having it really slammed is really just gonna be a pain down the road. Um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of uh, haters for not making it low as it could be but hey it's my truck get to do what I want right um, right now I'm gonna run the stock tires stock rims pretty much a basic stock grand marquee frame um, it's gonna be reliable it's gonna be easy to switch out the parts it's gonna drive like a dream I got 20 miles per gallon not too long ago going up to the uh, Daytona truck meet and uh, I'd love to keep seeing those numbers and have that smooth ride all the way through. Um, keep watching, like and subscribe, and uh, I hope that you guys have found the inspiration to do your own build one day. There's also a big shout out we like to give. I-95 Motorsports has literally been helping us. I was gonna say God. And doing just, you know, unbelievable work. Kenny's been knocking this stuff out of the park. Um, look at that F100 right there. You don't even see that. Wow. Hylia and they got F100s. Um, yeah, so shout out to I-95 Motorsports. They've literally been, been helping us unbelievably and uh, I really appreciate them. And I wanna give a shout out to God for literally making this so, so painless. We haven't cut ourselves once with all those saws up blades and grinding, grinding wheels. No cuts on the hands. You know, some scratches, which is normal because it's sheet metal, but we have our fingers, we haven't got any, any metal in our eyes, and we haven't been really wearing safety glasses, so that's a big deal. Shout out to God and everybody else that's making this a reality, so thank you guys.
day five of the truck build. Um, got back from the metal shop and Kenny's going to be doing all the fabbing, cutting, and welding it in. I've been kind of kicked out of the videos the past couple days, so now I'm going to let it go over to Ken. Wasn't kicked out of nothing. Just ain't care. Lazy at home playing Captain Cuddles with his pillow. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put in this here metal. We're going to attach it from side to side. We're going to make us some body mounts and we're going to get the truck laid out today. Oh, not laid out. A little bit above laid out. Day five of the unibody build. All right, you guys saw earlier we picked up some metal, we brought it to the shop and we started cutting on it. Unfortunately, got really busy, it's Friday and you know, it's a truck build. Guess what? Things don't go the way that you planned. That's life. Well, it's all right because we're still happy. All right, um, Monday we're gonna kick ass though. Welcome to the Unibody Union headquarters. Y'all don't get sneak peeks like this every day, but we're gonna show you some cool stuff. All right, right over here we got a very rusty 1961 F100 unibody. It's not a big back window, but it's rusty and it's cool. Um, as you can see right back here, we've got a 2011 Crown Victoria rear end, and we've got the 2011 Crown Victoria front cross for, uh, subframe. And eventually we'll put this in one of these cool things. Um, for now, we're just doing nothing with it because it's so rusty. We've got a 1961 Mercury F100 straight from Canada. M100? What are you talking about? Oh, it's M100. My bad. I stand corrected. Sorry for all you Mercury guys. Um, I did promise you guys that I'll show you guys us getting it running, but you know what? The Black Sheep has really been on my mind. I really wanted to get that running so we could do some dirt donuts or something cool with it. And I think that you guys are probably enjoying our videos so far, so this is on hold for now. We'll get to it. Wish it had better patina, but hey. You know, cold climate just makes paint just fall off. Um, now, y'all ain't gonna believe this, but this is an unmolested 1961 F100. Not a bit of rust on it, California truck. I mean, there ain't even much to do to it. I mean, it's perfect. What we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna show you guys a video of us doing an oil change, you know, a little tune up, whatnot, drive it around. It's got the factory 292 with a four speed in it. So we're going to take some videos of, you know, little detail stuff, how clean it is. And uh, unfortunately, we've got the tarp on it because this carport has gotten beaten on in the Florida sun, which only takes about five, six months because it's just unbearable. And so, you know, we'll show you a couple videos of us driving it around, whatnot, once we get these rusty things out of the way. I'm sure you guys will enjoy that. And right over here, my personal favorite, my personal favorite, is this 1963 uh, long bed. And eventually we're gonna probably do a comment swap on it. We're just waiting for you guys to send us some of that sponsorship money. And uh, this truck actually was bought in, I believe, Texas. And it was sitting in front of a gas station. Super retro. Um, the factory frame was cut up because we were gonna do some really cool um, airbags and a coyote motor and all that stuff. But the sponsorship got cut on that. So unfortunately we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, sitting right now on a 1968 uh, F100 chassis. It's not mounted. We just put it there with my extremely redneck A-frame, if you want to call it. I'm sure you guys have something to say about how pathetically this was built, but hey, it lifts the entire cab. So that's what it is. It's got some cool rally wheels on it. Um, that's about it. So wrapping it up for day five. Um, like I said, we didn't get as much done, but it's a truck build and things don't go as they planned. Monday, we're going to kick stuff out of the park. We're going to go farther with the, you know, the cab mounts, the subframe connectors all that stuff doesn't have a subframe i don't know why i said that it's gonna have the chassis supports body mounts we're using the factory uh cab mounts and whatnot so like and subscribe if you're enjoying our videos we appreciate it comment you know anything you want to see let us know we'll try to incorporate it in our next video have a great job